back with another video for you guys today. This is going to be a Darman video. This is, son hates his Mexican culture, and his friend teaches him a lesson. So honestly, I get it if you're in like America or Canada, and then you're like, you're foreign or whatever, like your background is, I was going to say Spain. <laughs> Let's say you're Spanish, or you're Filipino, or you're Mexican, or you're French, I don't know. Or you're Polish, like me, I was born here, but I'm Polish. So it's like you have this like background, right? And then it's like, or culture. And then honestly, like for for Christmas Eve, we always use something that's like mainly that something that we even bond. And I and I've always liked it. Like I I've always liked having the dinner. I always liked you know opening presents on Christmas Eve. Like it was fun, and I still do like doing it. Like even recently, like just like wearing a sweater in the house now, seeing that it's cold outside, seeing that it gets a bit darker sooner. I just feel like it's already a, a Christmas, and I'm already kind of like feeling the joy, even though it's only October right now. And filming this right now, it's only September 26th, so it's nowhere close to, to Christmas yet. Still a good three months away-ish like that. Yeah, something like that, something like that, so. But, but to me, Christmas starts basically like right after Remembrance Day, I believe. So like after, like uh, starting November 12th, it's basically Christmas until like January 1st. Um, anyway guys, that's gonna be that. <laughs> but okay guys, this video is about 10 minutes long, so it's a little bit lengthy. Let's go. But nothing wrong with not liking your culture. You know, I get it, but... Like, you don't need to be a dick about what it. What are you doing, Mom? What's all this crap you're hanging? Louise! How could you say that? This is no crap! This is decorations for Cinco de Mayo! I told you, Mom. My friend Miguel is coming over today. I don't want him seeing any of this crap. It's embarrassing. ¿Qué estás haciendo? It huh? took me all morning to put this up. This is America, Mom, not Mexico. If you wanted to celebrate Mexican culture, you should have stayed in Mexico. Oh my god, that's not how it works. Don't say that. You don't need to be in your These country. These are our traditions. Just because you were born in America doesn't mean you don't have Hispanic roots. Please, don't forget that. Those are your roots, not mine. I don't know why you try to push your culture on me. I am not the one that forced you to come to America. Oh my god. Luis, do you think that I came to America for me? She probably went there for you. I came to America for you. So that I can give you a better life. That, that's all my parents did. Because so they were born in, born in Poland. You didn't have to struggle like I did. Whatever, Mom. That was your choice. Wow. Don't try to blame it on me. <gasps> oh my god, you're terrible. What is that awful smell? I think I think it's yourself. Enchiladas. Oh, in, in, enchiladas, I feel like that would smell good. to make in Mexico, see? That smells disgusting. Why couldn't you just order a pizza or something? Miguel is not going to want to eat that. How do you know? A pizza? To be honest, I don't even know what Cinco de Mayo is. We're having homemade Mexican food. Okay, right now during this video, I'm, I'm gonna look up Cinco de Mayo because I've heard that a thousand times. There you go again saying. with the Spanish. English, mom. Speak English. Oh my god. Pero por qué, mijo? Por qué? I am not gonna talk to you until you speak to me in English. What's wrong with speaking? In your language. Spanish. You should be proud that you can speak another language. It's a privilege that not too many people have. It's because we're in America. Oh my god. In case you forgot, people speak English here. Oh my god. Luis. My parents talk to me in Polish so literally all the time. Cinco de Mayo. Enchiladas. Spanish. And you should be proud. Just stop. I am not proud of your culture. I am embarrassed by it. Oh my god. Like, relax. You're so dramatic. To be honest, I wish you were more American. <laughs> oh my god, no, relax. No. You didn't mean that. Please, don't take for granted your culture. Many kids would love to have a strong culture just like you. Great. Miguel is here, and now he's gonna see all of this crap. Thanks a lot, Mom. 
It's gonna be the same thing like the other video where uh, where the friend comes over and, and then he loves it. Hey man, hey what's up? Come on in. Do we need to play some Call of Duty? Uh, like Miguel, I don't know what kind of name that is, but like they they basically look the same. Like are they both Mexican or something? I'm sorry if that was if, if, if that was racist or something, but I feel like he he's also Mexican. Miguel. Uh, hi, Mrs. Rodriguez. Oh, hello, Miguel. What are all these decorations for? Oh, it's for Cinco de Mayo. We celebrate every. Day. That's enough, Mom. Miguel doesn't want to hear about Cinco de Mayo. How do you know? Sorry, man. I know all this seems super awesome. Cool. I've never seen anything like this. See, there you go. These decorations are so cool. Oh. Yeah, I guess. You did all this yourself? Yes, I did. It's an annual tradition for Cinco de Mayo. Every fifth day of May. Anyways, are you hungry? I was thinking maybe I could order us pizza or something. Yeah, pizza's cool. But wait. You smell What's that smell? You smell oh, enchiladas. sorry, I know it smells gross in here. See? I told you not to cook that crap. Oh my god. Well, no, actually, uh, I was going to say it smells really good. Wow. <laughs> this guy's shocked. Whatever shock. you cook, Mrs. Rodriguez, smells delicious. I'm so happy to hear that. These are enchiladas. Would you like to taste some? Really? I would love to. Mmm. This is so good. Did Way you better eat? than pizza. Did you even I'm eat so it? I'm so happy to hear that. All I hear is... Like, 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 all I hear is... I told you, you speak English, Mom. We don't need a Spanish lesson. Oh, my God. Actually, I would love to learn some Spanish. Can you say that again? Mm-hmm. Of course. Estoy tan feliz. Estoy tan feliz. Me, I am very happy in Spanish. Estoy tan when fe I feliz. When I eat enchiladas, uh, estoy tan feliz. <laughs> Perfectly. You're the natural. Thanks, Mrs. Rodriguez. Wow, mm. Luis. I didn't know your mom was so cool. Like. You think she's cool. Wow. To be honest, I've always been really embarrassed by my Mexican culture. I sometimes wish my mom was more Americanized. Are you kidding me? Bro, you're so lucky. I wish yeah, because he can't. I had all this. But Miguel, aren't you Mexican too? Told you. Didn't your parents teach you your culture? Yeah, he doesn't have parents. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. What is this, sweetie? It's okay. You can talk to us. Well, it's just that I don't really know anything about my culture. You see, when I was growing up, my parents used to fight a lot. One day, it got so bad that my dad decided to walk out on me and my mom. I never saw my dad again. With my dad gone, my mom wasn't able to support me on her own. She wanted me to have the best life. So she gave me up for adoption to mm. a white mom. And my mom went back to Mexico. Oh shit. I never saw her again either. Mm. So, you see, I never got to learn about my culture because both of my parents left when I was just a kid. Don't oh, get it. I'm so, so sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. I feel so bad. It's okay. You didn't know. But please don't take your culture for granted. I wish I got to celebrate my culture like you. You're so right. I can't believe I've been taking this for granted. I'm really sorry, Mom. No, no. For the way I treated you. Do you think you could forgive me? No, I'm good. Of course, Miko. Thank you, Mom.
I mean, gracias, mama. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And Miguel, you are welcome to come over anytime. I'd be happy to make some enchiladas and teach you some Spanish too. Really? That would be so amazing. That makes me so happy. How do I say that again? Uh, it's toy. It's toy. It's Muy bien, Miguel. Muy bien. Very good. No. Very. I don't fucking know. I don't know Spanish. I am. Yeah. All right, here we have. <laughs> well, that piece is mine. <laughs> Same. Hey, Darman fam. Thanks so much for watching that video, and I hope you love that message. Please. That was good. That was really good. Um, again, like, I've never really hated my Polish culture. Um, I, I've never really, like, really, like, wished, oh, can we do it in, like, the Canadian way or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, whatever the Canadian Canadi way is, I don't even know, to be honest. And yeah, like, I would love to learn some Spanish. Like, I obviously know some Polish. I knew some French, so it's kind of like, I'm not really, like, I can't say I'm fluent in three languages. Um, because I don't know Spanish at all. But Polish, I went to Polish school a little bit, but I, I kind of know it a little bit. Like, obviously, my, my parents talk to me in Polish, but I don't talk to them in Polish ever. I just talking, I just speak in English. Um, all of us kids usually speak English to them, and they speak Polish to us, but, 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 but we obviously understand. So, uh, sometimes I doubt and I'm like, I have no idea what Judas says, speak English. That's the only only, only time I told him to speak, speak English because I have no idea what the fuck they're saying. Uh, yeah, just because you're in a certain country doesn't mean you can't speak your home language. Like, oh, you're in Mexico? Sorry, you can't speak Chinese. Sorry, you're in Canada? Nope, only English. Mm -mm. Nope. Like, what are you, the fucking language police? Like, oh, sorry, you're under arrest for speaking... Spanish in, in Canada, I'm sorry. I've been in bars for 20 years. Sorry, you know, that was a crime. <laughs> like, anyways, yeah. Don't be embarrassed with your culture because it can be fun. Like, it can be nice to learn about your culture and everything in different cultures. And to be honest, I, I want to learn some Spanish. Like, all, all I know is hola, adios. Now I know muy bien. Bien. Wait, is, isn't bien French? Bien. Isn't that good or. Oh, fucking no. I swear that that's French. Am I stupid or something? But I feel like that's French. Uh, gracias. I think I think I gotta watch Dora. Wait, Dora taught Spanish, right? <laughs> I don't watch Ron so well, but I swear to God she spoke Spanish in the thing. So maybe I should watch some Dora and then I'll go back to you guys. But um, thank you guys for watching. Again, never be embarrassed about your culture because it can be nice to, to learn about it, and even older cultures too. It's probably nice to learn about. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to like it, be sure to comment down below what you guys thought of this video, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as well. And with all of that being said, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and turn on post notifications, I just said that. I'll see you guys later, tomorrow at noon.